I can really make this computer wail. Cool it, will ya, Gig? I'm trying to concentrate on my algebra lesson. And I'm working on a problem in aerodynamics. Ouch! Will you knock it off, Chester? I'm working on a very important project. Don't you mean self-important? There, it's working. Hey, come on, stop it. This is ridiculous. Stop this right now. I always say you can't have too much of a good thing. The teacher had to leave early, but he asked me to give you guys your assignments. We're going to divide the class into two teams, male and female. Each team will run a business for a whole day. I don't relate, you know. Like, what are we trying to prove? Who makes the best business people? Girls or boys? Running a business? But that's for common people, not for the pampered privileged like us. Come on, Bianca, it'll be a real kick. Besides, it'll teach us how to run a business. I can really resonate with that. Yeah! yeah. Well, all right, but only because it gives us girls a chance to prove that we have more fiduciary acumen than boys. That's ridiculous. Boys are much smarter. By the way, what does fiduciary acumen mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, girls! We're almost there! <sighs> I was having this awful nightmare that I had to get up at dawn to run a business on Rodeo Drive. Oh! What a really awesome coincidence! I was like having the same nightmare! Haven't you guys ever heard that the early bird catches the worm? Yeah, it serves them right. I see I'm gonna have to do something to get you girls in the proper spirit. Ra ra ra, sis boomba. Girls rule, girls rule, yay, girls! Do you mind? You're hurting poor little Empress's ears. And you're depriving me of my precious beauty sleep. Now you'll have to drop me off at Pimpy's for an emergency beauty treatment. Bianca, we'd love to drop you off. Lark, let's go by way of the Santa Monica Pier. What a break. We guys get to operate a chocolate shop. Man, chocolate is like my favorite type of health food. Will you look at that? A chocolate choo-choo. Big deal. It's not even the latest model. This should be a real sweet gig for all us chocolate lovers. Yes, if we don't eat up all the profits. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Look what I found inside. Isn't it awesome? Oh, wow. That's got to be the biggest chocolate bar in the whole world. And with only one nut. Radley. Awesome. No, <laughs> Dino Tune! Magic ride, Radley! Way to go! Way to go, Look, guys, it's the girls! Look, girls, it's the guys! What are you ladies doing here? We're going to run the ice cream parlor for the contest. What about you guys? We're running the chocolate shop. Oh, wow. What a really big time coincidence. You're like right across the street from us. Good. That way we can keep our eyes on all your moves. Oh. So what else is new? You've been doing that for years. Man, the 
like this place is a chocohol extreme. Mmm, my favorite, chocolate mousse. Cool it, Pierce. We're supposed to sell this stuff, not eat it. Putting Pierce in charge of this place is like putting a fox in charge of a hen house. Well, at least you admit I'm a fox. Pierce, maybe you ought to go out and try and drum up some business. Advertising. Promotion. I like it. Don't worry, I'll have this place crawling with customers. How do you plan to do that? Trust me, I've got a publicity gimmick that can't miss. Attention, residents. I urge you to attend the opening of our brand new chocolate shop. Remember, if it's good enough for Pierce Thorndike the Third, it's certainly good enough for you. Attention, residents. What an egotist. That Pierce will do anything to attract customers to his shop. Someone should tell him that you've got to be cool and tactful when dealing with the public. Like me! <laughs> we interrupt the world news, the presidential press conference, and the Super Bowl to bring you this earth-shaking announcement. Today is the grand opening of the Teen Queen Soda Fountain Sandwich Shop. I urge all of you to come and sample our totally ultra-scrumptious goodies! Totally ultra-scrumptious goodies! Gosh, this is fun! I can make all sorts of neat ice cream treats for the customers. Like this 14-carat special. Here you go, Jet. Oh, wow! It looks totally mega delicioso! What? You lucky, lucky man! This stuff is like great for growing hair! Hello, Goose! I'm here! Don't you simply adore the way Fifi did my hair? Oh, I'm sorry, Empress. Don't you simply adore the way Fifi did our hair? Yes, you both look gorgeous. Now come with me. We're shorthanded in the kitchen. Imagine me, Bianca Dupree, a burger queen. How really ghost. Give me a burger, pickles, fries, and a dog. Well done. Huh? <laughs> Not a dog, dog precious. Now, what did Switchboard order again? Oh, yes, fried pickles. How tacky. Now, what sort of uncultured bimba would order fried pickles? Mmm, fried pickles, my favorite dish. I should have known. Wilshire, what are you doing here? Oh, I heard this ugly rumor that you're actually <gasps> cooking. That's right. Any problem with that? Do you smell something burning? It's the burgers. Oh, no. Everything will be ruined. Quick, Wilshire, do something. Don't panic, my precious. I'll flip them over. I can see it's really gone to the dogs. <laughs> oh. Trust me, lady, you're gonna love this. It's perfect for people on a diet. One bite and you'll never want another one. Smooth move, switchboard. Uh-oh! Did that crowd around the chocolate shop? Oh, wow! It's a regular mob scene. I wonder how the boys are getting all those customers. I don't know, but we better find out quick before they win the contest. But how? We can't get near the place. 
But I know someone who can. So I want you to spy on the boys to find out the secret of their success. Oh, golly, Bianca, you're asking me to betray my own sex. You mean you'll refuse after all I've let you do for me? Oh, you're right, honey bunch. <laughs> what was I thinking? Gosh, I feel like such a traitor. But it's so hard to say no to Bianca. Step right up, folks. You're just in time to see me demonstrate my latest invention, Ralph the Raspberry Robot. First, I pour chocolate syrup into one arm. Then I pour raspberry syrup into the other arm. Then, on with the show. And there you have it. A fresh batch of chocolate raspberry bonbons. Oh! That's it for now, folks. The next show is at 2 o'clock. <laughs> Meanwhile, these bonbons are on sale inside for only $100 an ounce. I can't blame them, but those prices, they're practically giving them away. for doing this. But as long as it makes Bianca like me, it's worth it. And now, watch Ralph the Raspberry Robot do his thing. Hmm. How very peculiar. Mrs. Van Worthington, the most important woman in Beverly Hills. She'll probably sue the boys and put them out of business. Great! Then we'll win the contest. But we didn't want to win that way. Hey, winning is winning. What's the difference how you do it? Bianca, you get better and better at being better and better. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, no, look. It's Mrs. Van Worthington again, and she's brought an entire law firm with her. Those bonbon bullets were nothing compared to the firing squad I'm about to face. Young man, I'd like a word with you. Y y yes Mrs. Van Worthington? Those bonbons you distributed as free samples were absolutely heavenly. You simply must give my caterers the recipe. What? Good deal. That does it. I can see I'll have to use even sneakier tactics to win this contest. I sure hope this works. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I know. But Bianca in a bikini? That's like bringing out the big gun. Don't worry, girls. This is bound to attract hundreds of customers. Watch this. Hey. Hello, Troy. Oh, hi, Bianca. Hmm. Wow. Like, Troy was really blinded by your dazzling beauty, all right. Yeah. So blinded that he didn't even see you. <laughs> Hmm, who needs him? There are a lot more pebbles on this girl's beach. Watch this. Yoo-hoo! Uh-oh. Dig all those dudes in front of the girl shop. Looks like we've got a Mondo problema. Guess we'll have to throw in the towel. We can't compete with that kind of sex appeal. Oh no, that's what you think. Okay, girls, here I am. Here's Thorndike the third in the flesh. Oh no, 
The dude's really wigged out this time. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> Don't panic, girls. There's plenty of me to go around. <laughs> it's not easy being perfect in a less than perfect world. According to my calculations, we are losing the contest. How depressing. Can you imagine me announcing on my talk show, Girls Bomb Out in the World of Big Biz? Look, I cannot believe what a total bummer this is. Hold on, girls. I've got an idea. Well, lay it on us, woman. Jeff, I think you ought to put on a rock and roll show. That should draw scads of customers. You know, it just might work. Oh, wow! That's an immenso idea! And all of us can pitch in! Ooh! Like, what a tight group! Are we good or what? What do you think we should call ourselves? How about Bianca's Big? have escaped your notice, but Jet is the only one who knows music. Well, if you want to get technical... Uh-oh. They've got every kid in Beverly Hills on their side of the street. Man, looks like we're up the creek without a surfboard. Hey, like if Jet could do it, so can I! like we're not getting anywhere this way. Really? For sure! Hey, Jet, are we a team or aren't we? We're a team to the extreme! Then let's do it! Oh, great beat! Yeah, it makes me feel like dancing! Awesome sounds, guys! For sure! Gnarly notes and a dynamite down. Let's get down at Boogie. <laughs> well, Chanel, which team wins, the guys or the gals? Your attention, please. The final results are just in, and the winners are... The Girls! It just goes to show, the best man for the job is a woman. I'm glad this whole thing is over. I'd rather cooperate with boys than compete with them. Congratulations, Chanel. You deserve a winner's kiss. Mwah. So how come I feel like a loser? Speaking of losers... Wilcher, what on earth are you doing? Eating raspberry bonbons. Next to fried pickles, they're my favorite thing. <laughs> 